a orange one here with the uh, hunters in this video I'm going to show you a couple different weapon types and talk about when you might use them as well as show off some of the attacks that they have and I'm going to then after I've done that on this group of man hunters show you how this works with a number of different groups I've already got some saves lined up where we've uh, found a couple different enemy types um, just a brief overview we're going to look at animals groups of medium heavy armor light or no armor and then some strategies for larger groups versus smaller groups so let's go ahead and get started with um, weapon types if we look here there's katanas sabers hackers and all of these are they do a fair amount of cut damage and that means that you really will want to have quick attacks like have high dexterity um, and those are really good against like unarmored enemies so let's go ahead these manhunters they've got armor on them but it's not the best armor so we should be able to get some damage in with some uh, cutting weapons so if we look here tuner has a, um, a saber and the saber has bonus damage against spiders small spiders bone dogs and skimmers these are just people so those bonuses won't really apply but I wanted to have him just solo this group and see how he does and also show off why you might choose a saber. This guy wants to attack us. As you can see, you can do that attack where it attacks one person, but that other attack that he just did can hit multiple people at once. So a saber is pretty nice because it has uh, the capability of hitting a few people at a time and it has a really nice defense bonus like that right there he just hit I think four people there he is actually much higher uh, level than these guys so he's got a pretty big advantage on them but as you can see a saber has really good um, area of attack attacks as well as pretty good defensive uh, capabilities if we look at the um, actual weapon itself it gives plus two defense, which is a nice little bonus. Okay, let's try a different weapon type. Alright, so Tuner is going to do the same thing, but this time instead of using the Saber, he's going to use this Guardless Katana, which has a huge attack bonus. Doesn't go through armor very well, but it actually hurts people a little bit more. So because these guys are armored, I suspect this isn't going to go as well with the, the defense, but when he hits them, he should do a fair amount of damage to them. He's actually not even doing that much. He's doing less, I think, than when he had the saber. But this does also have area of, of effect things. But as you can see, these guys, because of their armor, this isn't the best weapon for the job. Alright, let's try another one. Alright, this time we're going to try doing this with Stinks, and he, if we look at his stats, he's really good with heavy weapons, he's not very good with anything else. Um, before we do the heavy weapon, I do want to show off the cleavers, uh, because that is another cutting weapon. It doesn't do an awful lot against animals, but it would hurt robots pretty bad. None of these guys are robots, so I don't think this is going to be our best weapon, but it should work. Yeah, 30 damage, that's pretty good. And it also attacks really quick. Stinks is kind of a beast though. He's He's got really high strength, so his attack speed is super quick. Even if the weapon was heavy, he'd still be doing tons of damage. So a hacker is pretty nice. It has similar attacks to like a katana and a saber. But it's got different bonuses. I think it actually does a little bit better of blunt damage when they have armor protection. Oh my goodness, that attack. That was pretty brutal. Okay, let's try out a different weapon type. Alright, so this time I've got Stinks um, with the Naginata, and also you should always take off the backpack because it hurts your combat ability. But we're going to go with the Naginata and see how that works against these people. If you look at the weapon itself, it should be used against animals but P 
people it works against pretty well too. You can see it's got decent damage output and it can attack a lot of people because it's such a long weapon it can attack pretty far away. So the Naginata is pretty good of, of a weapon. It's a cutting weapon though so if people have armor like these guys it's not going to do a ton of damage though. But as I said you should really be using this against animals and so they're not going to have armor. Alright, why don't we try a different weapon type. Okay, so Stinks now has a blunt weapon, which if you've got high strength is a pretty good weapon. And I think that it should work out pretty well against these guys. Yeah, 35, that's respectable damage. And you can hit multiple people with it. Its reach isn't very good though. But it's a It's a decent weapon if you're trying to fight an armored opponent. And it doesn't take as high of strength as like a heavy weapon. Basically you need a super high strength if you want to be effective at all with a heavy weapon. Lucky for us, Stinx does have really high strength. So why don't we... I think that's most of the weapon types, but why don't we go ahead and show you the uh, heavy weapon. Alright, so Stinx has his heavy weapon equipped. And this is a group of people. So I suspect it's going to work out pretty well. Look at that, 60 damage. 60 damage on three people. Granted, this is his specialty, so he should be doing a lot of damage. But uh, heavy weapons are really nice against mobs. It doesn't really matter if they're armored or not. This is going to be a nice, uh, nice weapon once you've got this strength. But if you don't have the strength required, like if I just gave this heavy weapon to someone else, they're going to be swinging so slow that the enemy will constantly be staggering you. As you can see, Stinks is quick enough to get off fast attacks. But I'm just going to actually have him run off and I'm going to give someone a heavy weapon that's uh, that's not skilled in it. Yeah, like Oron. Can we give that to Oron? Yep. Let's have Oron go over here and he's going to try swinging this, just so you can see just how slow this is. And he's moving slow just because he's not used to carrying this weight. But look, he's so slow. I mean, he does decent damage with it, but it takes forever. <laughs> so if, if you're going against a group, you're often going to get staggered. Like you can see, he's getting hit so many times. He's getting staggered quite a bit. So you do want to have high strength if you're doing a uh, heavy weapons player. And his strength is okay, but it stinks over here. Now that's what you want if you're using a heavy weapon. Okay, so I think that's all of the weapon types. Yeah, we've gone through all the weapon types. At this point, I want to show you a couple, a couple different of the um, mob types. So we've talked a, a fair amount with this group. This is a like a medium armored group. So using blunt weapons or heavy weapons is really good against these guys. Um, if, you, if there's a large group of them, a heavy weapon is going to do really nicely against them. Like as we saw with Stinks and his heavy weapon there. I mean he is also very talented with this weapon, so like I said before, that helps a lot. Um, but let's go ahead and cut to a light armor so you can see what I would uh, what I would do against a group like that. Alright, so we've got a camp of Empire Peasants. These guys, as you can see, they don't really have armor. And they don't even really have that good of weapons either. So they're kind of a pushover, but I just wanted to show you. We attack them, what the um, damage output of the cutting weapons are on people without armor. Uh, let's see, I wanted you guys to stay out of this because you've got some of the heavier weapons. Like 40 damage there. I think that's the sabers that just did that. Yeah, that was totally sabers that was doing that kind of damage. Do you get like katanas and like sabers going against a group like this? And they're gonna end up doing tons of damage. It's definitely 
it's well worth specking your group um, for the enemies that you're going out because as you can see you can do like twice as much damage against unarmored opponents as armored with the right weapons. Okay, and let's go ahead and look in the animal group too. There's a skimmer right here, um, which is really common in the desert, but if you have a desert saber, you actually do plus 100% damage to them, so you'd get twice as much damage on them if you have the right weapon. But they're still, they're still a, a pretty nasty enemy. If you look there, they've got really high health. And they attack really quickly. So if you aren't quick yourself, you'll get staggered and they'll attack you multiple times. And you really want to attack these guys one on one. Because if you're just, if you're having multiple people attack, maybe actually we'll have you hang back. We'll send someone who's not got as much experience into this fight. Hold on, Tuner. Before you attack this one, let's have Oler get in there. So, Oler, you haven't got a Desert Saber. You've just got a Ringed Saber. And that will do some damage, but as you can see, it's n not nearly as much damage. And there's also something you want to be careful of, is if you have people grouped up, this guy attacks with an area of effect, so he can hit the people that are not attacking him if they're standing I think it's just back here Are you actually passive so yeah I think right there tuner just got hurt so you don't want to be bundled up when you're attacking animals you want to flank them if you can and that will work out really nicely also if you've got um the Naginatas, those are pretty nice because those let you keep your distance and also attack the enemy. So Tuner, why don't you come back for a minute? It stinks it. Let's get you attacking with that Naginata. Yeah, I mean it's it's quick. It has that damage boost, so it, it works. If you have something like the Desert Saber though, that's so much better to uh, to do. Also, when you take down an enemy, you want to loot them right away. That kills them instantly, so he's dead. He's not going to get up back up. This one over here will get up in like a minute. So if you can take an enemy down, you want to loot them as soon as possible. You want to have you want to attack with something fairly quick because they don't stun. And if they're attacking you constantly, you'll get stun locked and you won't be able to get them um, fight back from them and you also want to use area of um you don't want to get caught in the area of effect with the skimmer it's not so bad but with beak thing things it's a lot worse so i wanted to show you a beak thing really quick okay, so we got some beak things just up ahead this is exactly what you don't want to do you don't want to just say attack these guys with a big old group of people because what ends up happening is you guys end up I don't know why they're not attacking. Are you guys on passive or something? No. But anyways, you'll you'll see what goes down when you just try and mob up on beak things. You're gonna get these huge area of effect. Like all those attacks are like hitting basically everyone. And if we do that, I've got a feeling this this group will get killed. Even our super experienced people are not doing well against this group. And the really dangerous thing is beak things, when they take you down, they'll eat you. It's it's not good. So you wanna you wanna make these things get knocked out as soon as possible. If you look, we're really badly beat up from that fight. And there was like we didn't really do any fighting fighting before that. So I'm gonna show you what you wanna do instead of that. Alright, so same group of beak things, same group of people. But what we're going to do this time is we're going to bait them with one person who's got good defense. And if I can attack one, just one on one, I'd like to do that. So if I get that one to come over here, looks like we're going to have two of them. You guys, we don't actually even need you. Stinks, I want you to attack this one. And let's go with 
Tuner, you've got good defense, so let's have you fight him. Everyone else came back. And Kang, you're gonna go over here. So see I'm, how I'm flanking this one? This one's area of attack now can't hit the other one. Stinks is doing just fine by himself though because he's got good defense. If you've got good defense, it's not really gonna be an issue there. The area of effect um, attacks. And let's just look at ourselves. We've only been hit like once or twice for pretty minor damage too. So instead of getting like the entire squad getting hit by like 20 damage at a time, you can just hang back and take them out. So easy. And then you have a ton of food and a ton of animal skins. A lot of people really like going after beak thing, beak things. And some people get very shocked by that because beak things are pretty nasty enemies. I mean, they do a lot of damage. They took out one of my... The, I mean, this squad was pretty much taken out by a group of them. And these guys are good. They're pretty... They're like mid-game squad. So you want to be careful around these animals. But if you approach the situation smartly and you counter their um, area of effects by spreading people out and are just kind of smart about how you engage, you'll be fine. It's like not that big of a deal. So... Yeah, that's all I wanted to do for animal groups. So last thing for this video that I want to show you is a group of samurai. These guys are really heavily armored. And I'm just going to go all out and try and point out a few things. So as you can see, they've got Naginatas, which are doing really good attacks against us. It's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on, but... You can see that Stinks, he just landed attack for 46 damage. So like the heavy weapons are still doing good. Um, our sabers are doing, they're doing 19 or so damage. So it's respectable. But our katanas are going to be doing like very little to nothing. Yeah, like I think Orion just hit them for 10 damage. It's not very, yeah, 10 damage. It's not very effective using katanas against heavily armored opponents. It kind of makes sense, but like you can see with these guys, it's okay to mob up on them because their area of effect isn't as horrible as the animals. But if you really want to be smart, you'll spread your, your people out um, when you're fighting some of these larger groups with Naginatas and like the Holy Nation, they have their heavy weapons, so you want to spread your people out. Otherwise, as you saw when you charged in, you'll get hit by these area of effect. But I mean, mid-game squad can still take out a group of samurai. And then we got all this like samurai level loot, which is really good stuff. And one other thing that if you are fighting people, you can take their weapon away from them. And so when they get when they get back up, they won't have a weapon. So that's a nice way of um, preventing yourselves from just getting owned by people after you beat them. All right, well, I think that was everything that I wanted to talk about with an, uh, weapon types and mob types. If you got any questions, please send them my way. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.